Hello you lovely lot, how we doing? Welcome back to my channel, I am Kelly Lou and I'm back at you again a few weeks past uh, with another studio vlog letting you know what I've been up to and what I'm going to be getting up to this week so I'm going to have a little montage type, not a montage might be the wrong word, I'm going to be splicing some bits together um, because I did plan on videoing my shop launch which was a couple of weeks ago now and I didn't get around to it because half term hit pretty much the same day that my kid finished school. Um, and I am far too awkward to be filming while my kid is here. And I don't want them to be too cringed out the fact that their mum is on YouTube. Like I said, I did plan on doing some filming around my spring shop update. And I just never got around to it because of half term. Uh, the update went amazingly. Like I think it was probably my second best launch. Um, autumn last year was huge for me um and spring just seemed to blow it out of the water um so yeah it was amazing lots of things uh, are actually close to selling out um and i did show you in the last video the new notepads and stickers and things um and just it was amazing so i was really buzzing with that and like i said with it being half term my kid who is just on the cusp of being a teenager uh gets a bit cringed out with me um <laughs> filming and things and to be fair I, I cringe at myself so you know I don't want to embarrass them and embarrass myself because you know I embarrass myself enough putting myself online um being like I am so yes it's half term so I had most of last week was spent packing orders and then I headed to Nottingham to take my kid to see one of our favourite bands but there was actually train strikes on the day we were going to go so we had to go a day early so we had to extend it and then this weekend I spent lying down sitting a lot um and packing orders that came through obviously but I was very burnt out from all the social interaction and people and things so I just needed a couple of days away just to recuperate and I'm back today and it is Wednesday March the 11th I think had to go and check, I knew I was wrong. It's Wednesday the 10th of April. It's not even March, is it? <laughs> like, you know, I've just missed out on a whole month. Um, it is Wednesday, April 10th, and I was actually hoping to have my washi tape from my Kickstarter be here, but unfortunately it was stuck in China for a week and has finally made its way to Europe. And I'm hoping that tomorrow, or Friday, it will be here so I can open the box together and show you all the goodies um, before I go on a mad packing spree um, to get all the washi out to the people who pledge on the Kickstarter. So I am hoping that, like I said, it will be here this week so I can actually do some filming um, unpacking all the washi tape because not only have I got the designs that are for the Kickstarter, I have a few new designs coming out and a restock of lots of my um most popular designs so yes um that'll be this week what else have i been doing oh yesterday was spent doing my tax return because it's tax season um well for the people who like to do it early like me so yesterday was spent crying at my desk with this gigantic folder um doing my taxes for the year which is very exciting it's not at all um it's very stressful and i obsess over it too much and but it's done. Uh, also, behind me, you will see a lovely little stack of goodies here. This is for a very exciting collaboration. Um, I'm not going to spoil who it is, but it's something very different. And a lovely person, uh, because I don't want to spoil who it is, got in touch with me and really liked a particular thing that I had uh, released and wanted to see if I wanted to collab with them. So it's something in here for the crafty people amongst you who might like doing things with needle and thread. Let's leave it at that, shall we? But yes, it's very exciting and I will be, um, what was I gonna say? I will be <laughs> on my Instagram um, teasing what it's gonna be and it's launching at the end of this month my brain's going like a million miles an hour at the moment uh, so I'm just going to have a drink of my coffee uh, so I can let my mouth catch up with my brain does that make sense mm. anyway so as I was saying this is for an amazing collaboration that I'll be doing this month I've done my taxes my spring update was amazing and now I need to work on what I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks which is about patreon time now so 
I was going to put a poll up on Patreon asking what next month's theme should be but I also didn't want to miss out on the fact that it is spring which well it wouldn't um you wouldn't think that with how gloomy it is outside today but I really wanted to do a little floral colouring book so for May I'm going to be having a floral colouring book which has actually gone down really well so I do need to start planning what I'm going to be doing for that because it's almost the middle of the month and normally I'm pretty much already done um but because I've been busy and half term is here I'm a bit behind what I need to be doing do you know come to think of it I don't even know if on my last vlog I actually shared what last month's theme for Patreon was um did I share it I can't remember so I'm going to share it now anyway just in case I didn't because I can't go back and watch it because I'm just going to take too much of my time so I'm just going to show you again what last month in, or this month was in Patreon as you can tell my video is chaotic as always Okay, so as some of you may know, I've been running my little colouring book club now since January and the first month was the Positivity colouring book. The second month, obviously for February, was the Valentine's colouring book and then in March we had Tea and Biscuits and then this month, which I say it every month that I think the book of the month is my favourite but I think this actually may be my actual favourite. I'm going to say that and then I'll design next month's but oh this is my new favourite. Um, 90s nostalgia was April and I had so much flipping fun and it was actually really hard to make this colouring book because there was so much that I could have created and only having 12 inside pages to design was really tricky to try and fit to try and fit to try and decide what 12 things I should illustrate. Um, so we had obviously the colouring book and as you know, I do a little matching sticker set. This is a little hint at what's inside the book. And I think when I posted this on Instagram, um, I normally post the front cover a couple of weeks before the end of the month to obviously see if people want to join for the following month. I'm getting away with myself. I'm getting out of breath because I'm talking dead quick. I get far too excited and I talk at a million miles an hour and then I realise I haven't taken a deep breath. I'm like, <laughs> like <laughs> so 90s nostalgia. And as I said, it was really tricky to try and uh, decide what to put in the pages. Um, and I normally post the front cover as a little teaser to see if people want to join who obviously aren't already in the club um, and to see what people think. So I posted the front cover of this and I had so many sign-ups and it was my best-selling month, uh, which is absolutely amazing. I wasn't sure if the 90s was going to be too old for some people. I'm almost 40, so the 90s was like my era. Um, and it was just amazing. I had so much fun doing this. And from this, I also did an accidental pro I say accidental. An unintentional product that I brought to my shop. Just bear me one second. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen I was making some coasters for my shop update. And I had this front cover illustration here. And I was like, oh, you know, what would that look like for coaster? Because I really wouldn't mind one for myself. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at the bloody reflection on that. I made a coaster. And I didn't want to. Um, have it as a product i literally just did it as a test to see what it was like so i could have one for myself because i love coasters and obviously making my own things means i get to gift myself lots of new things um which is actually very exciting because it's like i'm giving myself little presents so i made this into a coaster and just put it up on my instagram story just like oh wow look what i've just made for myself and people went bananas over it and so i put up a little poll just saying should I bring these to the shop? I didn't actually plan on bringing this out. People went mental for it. And I ended up making these for my shop update. And it was one of the most popular items in my spring update. It didn't go with anything that I had planned for my spring shop update, but it was one of the best sellers. So it has confirmed to me that people like this kind of thing. And I did plan on having a sort of mini 90s collection but it was going to be later on in the year so i'm thinking i might need to pull that up a few months um and bring that out soon so yes that's very exciting and i realize i've been talking for quite a while already 
I need to get a drink again because I get, as you know, I think it's the, um, I just get so excited talking about things. Um, and I think because I work by myself, um, I don't get to speak to people very often. And being neurospicy, I like to info dump blah, 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 a million miles an hour for things I'm really excited about. So as you can tell, I was absolutely buzzing about my colouring book and my accidental creation of the, the 90s coaster. Let me know in the comments if you were like me and you are, I, you might be neurospicy, you might not be. Um, info dumping is a trait of autistic people and I info dump on things when I get very excited about things or I'm very passionate about something and I realise that I get ahead of myself and then I realise that I'm talking like a million miles an hour like I keep saying and really you're behind your screen watching me and I probably come across as bloody mental about things but I hope that you can see how excited and passionate I am about the things that I create so I'm not sure how it comes across but I just thought I would try and explain it and that's just me <laughs> overthinking things as usual and over explaining things when I probably didn't need to so I'm just going to carry on and finish my coffee so we're back in a second all right so I'm just going to have a little breather do you like my new dungarees by the way I got these last week in Nottingham and I have the, I don't know if you can see it on camera the cutest little pin um if you know me, you know that I love snails. They're one of my special interests. I absolutely adore them. And I did, I, I ordered something from Amy at Prickle People. I'll leave her socials down below. And I got a dinosaur necklace, which is actually downstairs. And she gifted me lots of lovely things, including this lovely little wooden snail pin. How fucking cute is that? Um, but yeah, I was saying about the dungarees. Of it, my snail matches the dungarees. Um, and as you might have noticed, I like wearing stripes. Um, this is off vintage. So I just thought I'd let you know that while I was just having a little breather. So as I was saying, with my colouring books, normally at the middle of the month, I have the front cover already planned out and released for people to see and see if they want to join for the next month or see if it might not be their thing and people will cancel for the month which is completely fine because sometimes the theme might not be for you and that's absolutely okay so next month being florals i do need to get on and get it done and get planning so i will hopefully this week be bringing you along to see me plan some of the pages or even illustrate it and like i said hopefully unboxing the washi tape for my kickstart when that arrives um i could probably do some packing as well but today, I do need to pack a few orders. Uh, I had a few that came in last night and I need to make some coasters to go into some of those orders because I had sold out of a few of the designs. So I need to get those done. I'm not going to go into too much um, in depth on how I make the coasters. I'm not very good at explaining things. So I think I would really struggle with like tutorial type videos. Um, because I don't explain things very well. So I know somebody asked for a tutorial on how I do stickers in one of my early videos, but I just can't do it. Um, I probably could, but it'd just be me waffling on for about an hour when I find it hard to explain myself in general, <laughs> never mind trying to do a informative tutorial on how I make something. There are lots of people on YouTube um, who could show you how to do um, coasters. I use a method called sublimation, which I could like give a brief oversight of what that is, but I'm no good at tutorials. So I apologise if I don't go into lots of detail when I make things, but I just struggle to get my point across um, and think that you just struggle to stay with me. Does that make sense? Who knows anymore? Let's get these orders done, coasters done, and I'll bring you along for the ride, but I'll just do a little time lapsey or a nice little video with some music, and then I'll come back and waffle at you later, all right? <laughs>
Okay, so I'm going to end this portion of the video here because I have made the coasters I needed for orders and some restocks. So I had the 90s coaster, I had the risk it for a biscuit, have a cup of positivity and it's okay, try again tomorrow. They're all I need to do today. Um, I do plan on planning out my Patreon colouring book, uh, but I'm going to end this portion of the video here because I'm actually melting next to the heat press. Um, I'll see you in the next part. Okay, enough waffling. Hello, how are we all? Welcome to the next portion of the vlog. I'm actually going to keep this bit short and sweet um, because I had my washi tape delivery on Friday. It's currently Monday, April, whatever. You know what I'm like with my dates. Um, my washi tape arrived on Friday and I've spent most of the weekend um, packing up Kickstarter rewards because I wanted to get this out because the washi tape was stuck in China for a little bit, so things were delayed. I didn't film any of me packing... The kickstarter rewards i've got about 30 left from the 110 that there was um but i did film me unboxing my washi tape except well ex i say except good for you is i don't feel my face because i had no makeup on i was in my pajamas i was in full goblin mode and nobody needs to see that apart from those closest to me <laughs> which poor sons anyway so the next few um things i had a brain fart the next few clips clips the next few clips are me unboxing that washi tape from the kickstarter i hope you like it and enjoy all right i'm gonna go throw myself in the bin <laughs> even press stop As you can see there was a lot of washi literally if you follow me on instagram you'll have seen the other day my floor in this little office was just full of washi tape um, and now it's all neatly put away on my shelves here that was not a nice close-up i apologize great so i'm not gonna do a spread um well spread what do you call it swatching the washi but i will give you a little close-up uh, of some of the tape so for my kickstarter i had six brand new designs of stamp washi tape and i was hoping to restock two washi tapes from last year which was my spooky season and my snail mail washi tape um so i will give you a little look at the new washi tapes that will be coming to my shop later this month and if you pledge on the kickstarter thanks so bloody much first up we have if that's gonna load up very well a fungi stamp washi tape which is lots of little mushroomies on this tape here in my next video i'm probably gonna do a little washi spread in my journal so you can see the tapes laid out but i thought i'd just let you have a quick look here um because the washi tape that i showed in the unboxing was just like a quick woo, look what i've got here um so yes we have the tea and coffee stamp washi tape which, as the name says, um, it's little tea and coffee stamps. We also have... Oh, I've battered the, st the sticker on this one. But this is a Space Cuties one, which is lots of little cuties. 
we have the floral as you, as you can see i like using the word cute because i like making cute stuff um this is the floral washi tape again it's lots of cute florals i think i might have done that upside down we have this one is one of my favorites the sea life stamp washi tape uh which has fishies and an octopus and some jellyfish and sharks and fishies and lots of things we also have i'm going to burp i apologize a birthday stamp washi tape which is excuse me it's been really good to pop on birthday cards obviously um so if you send in anybody any birthday cards these will be cute little stamps and then so that's all six of the new designs and the restocks were the spooky season one which obviously is spooktastic and we have the happy snail mail one which was one of those popular designs and it sold out so flipping quick when i brought that out last year um I actually almost forgot to film the other washi tape that had arrived. Um, I have this sunflowers washi tape. I also have a vertical bookworm one. So all you bookworms. I have a sticker of this design and I have a pin. Uh, the pin is currently pretty much sold out. So I'm going to be restocking that. I also have this mountain range washi tape. My um, cloud cuties washi tape um which is this one here i thought i would do some mountains in a very similar style so we have a cute little i'm not very good at showing things on camera am i cute little mountain range on that one i also have a tea and biscuits washi tape which is a vertical washi tape like some other ones i really like doing vertical washi tapes um I have redone my strawberry washi tape, so now it's a summer strawbs, uh, just to go with the new design for my strawberry range, so like my notepad and my bookmark that I showed on my last vlog. I also have a vertical fungi tape, which if you've seen my last vlog, you'll have seen these little cuties on some new stationery and a lanyard. The same goes with this springtime wormy tape. I have a notepad, bookmark and stickers and things to match that. And lastly, I have these two tapes here. So I have the rainbow versions of these in my shop, but I thought I would do a black and gray one, except they put the wrong sticker on here. So I need to redo um, so it has black and gray to go on this one. Um, like I said, I'm not very good at like showing things on camera. <laughs> I'm not sure how I can show things off better, but you know me, I'm just winging it. So as you can see, I have quite a few designs that I will be launching at the end of this month. I did plan on having a washi tape and that here on time to go with my spring launch because obviously some of the washi tapes um, go with some of the designs that I brought out, but um, they didn't come in time. So that's why they are launching late. The leftovers from those will be in my shop at the end of this month and I am going to end the vlog here actually because I'm going to pack the rest of these kickstarters. I have some orders to pack. I need to still plan some of my pages for next month's colouring book. I've already done the front cover which I will share in my next vlog. I did that over the weekend. Um, so I'll end the vlog here because I've been chatting a million miles an hour as usual. <laughs> I think my vlogs are just always going to be chatty. Um, like I said earlier, I've really struggled to do things like tutorials and stuff. So I don't think I'm going to be doing informative sort of tutorial type videos on my channel. It's just going to be me chatting away, showing things. Um, I would like to start doing some videos of me creating stuff. So my illustrations, doodling, colouring books and stuff like that. I'd love to do some of those kind of things. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to drink my coffee because I don't like to go cold. Um, and I will see you next video. If you've enjoyed this, drop a like on it. And if you're not subscribed and you would like to see more from me, click the button. All right, I'll see you next video. Love you. Bye.